This is Getting On With Life, Biblical Wisdom for Successful Christian Living, and this is the Jacuzzi Blessing. I was praying this morning for a jacuzzi, not a real one, but as representative of something valuable from God. Let me explain. Some years ago, a pastor friend in New Zealand told me how blessed he was by one purchase in his life that he really did not intend to make. His father was moving house and offered to the son, my friend, a jacuzzi hot pool. My friend had never thought of installing such a pool in his home. He had two sons just coming into their teenage years. So, since he had the offer to buy the pool cheaply, he decided to buy the pool and install it on his back deck. By the time my friend relayed this story to me, the two sons were young adults. Through those teenage years, the pool proved to be invaluable to the family, especially in relation to the boys. Instead of the boys being off with their friends all the time, away from their parents' observation, all the friends wanted to come around and soak in the pool. My friend often soaked in the pool with his sons and their friends, and so he and his wife became good friends with all their sons' friends and maintained strong relationship with their boys through those crucial years. Another wonderful benefit for my pastor friend was in the form of ministry. He shared with me that many times through the years, often late at night, one or other of their son's friends would open up and share about personal issues they needed help with. He smiled, remembering how often he found himself giving serious counsel and solving difficult problems while soaking in the jacuzzi. I love that testimony and realize that often we don't know what is best for us. We have our own likes and dislikes and our own plans, but God sees the whole picture and knows what is best. So, rather than always telling God what I want and what I want Him to do for me, I often ask God to take charge and give me what He knows is best. So, this morning, I prayed once again for a jacuzzi, not a hot tub, but a blessing that God knows is best for me, even if I don't recognize it at first glance. God tells us His ways are far above ours. In Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, it says, My thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Yesterday afternoon, I sat relaxing in my yard, enjoying the trees and birds and breeze. I tried once again to get my thoughts together for things that will open up this year. I know there'll be change, and it could be quite dramatic, so I want to get my thinking primed for what is to come. Yet each time I sit and muse about such things, I get nowhere. Yesterday the Lord nudged me with a thought that saved me my fruitless endeavor. It struck me that when the time came, God was going to give me all the leading I need and all the explanation I need when it is due. So I can give up trying to get myself ready and simply continue to walk with Him relying on Him to be my constant source, no matter how things turn out in the future. So, in my abandonment, I'm trying not to plan much at all, just respond to what God puts in front of me, confident in Him, and aware that some things He presents me with are outside what I was expecting, but may just be the jacuzzi blessing He knows is best. Why not stop right now and ask God for a jacuzzi blessing in your life? Maybe in years to come, you can look back and see how wonderful it was that God prompted you to something you weren't planning, but which met needs you didn't even know you had. God bless you.